everybody. Just wanted to welcome you up to my craft room and uh, show you what I'm getting into today. I think I'm going to make uh, some kind of Mardi Gras wreath. Um, I saw these little decorations at the Dollar Tree a couple weeks ago, and I just thought it'd be cute to maybe um, throw together a little something for the front door. And if it turns out really cute, I'm going to give it to my sister-in-law. But if it's something that's just okay, then I'll just keep it for myself. But because um, my sister-in-law is a diehard uh, New Orleans, everything New Orleans fan. But anyway, I want to share with you the things that um, I'm going to start with. The Mardi Gras beads, the little blow horns, and the Mardi Gras mask was all bought at the Dollar Tree. So I do have $3 invested in it. Um, I have some white craft wire that I'm thinking about wrapping around. You know, Mardi Gras is kind of everything over the top. And so um, I don't have any like little white curly cues. And I don't want to use pipe cleaners. So I, I twisted that around a pin. And so that might make some little curly cue things. Um, I pulled some ribbon, uh, some just some ribbon. I'm going to disassemble that and try to make it curly cue. Uh, those Mardi Gras colors, gold and green and purple. Um, I have a straw wreath that was from my stash. And I'm probably going to cut this garbage bag into strips somehow and cover this. And then I'm going to also uh, uh, do uh, a few strips of this black mesh. So not exactly sure what I'm going to do. i got something kind of in mind, so we're going to see how that works out. But just want to share with you the beginning supplies, and we'll go from there. Okay, the first thing I did is I just kind of unwrapped um, this green garbage bag, an outdoor garbage bag, and I just cut it in some strips, and then I pulled it apart. And so I basically got like two inch plastic uh, ribbon. And so now what I'm going to do is take this ribbon, and I'm going to wrap it around this straw wreath. Okay, I have my straw wreath wrapped in the little plastic strips. It did not take very many at all, and so that went really quick. And so now all the straw is intact, and there's no chance of it shedding or anything like that. But I just kind of like the way that looks. And, uh, and so now I'm going to cut some strips of this mesh, and I'm going to tie it around uh, the, the wreath. And I want to show you what I'm going to tie those strips of mesh with. I did cut the mesh strips about 18 inches long. And these are just some gift wrap bows that are kind of iridescent that will kind of sparkle and, and shimmer off the other things. And so I have a gold one and kind of a pinky purpley one. And so that was as close as I had. But I think that it is iridescent enough where it will pick up quite a bit of the purple that I need. So I just want to show you that that is what I'm going to use to tie off my strips. And I'll show you a few of the strips tied. Okay, I just want to show you what I'm doing with the strips. Um, I'm just taking the strip and I'm just uh, putting it, um, folding it in half over the wreath and I'm alternating the gold and the uh, purple ribbon and just making a double knot just like that. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, I decided not to wrap the whole wreath in those uh, in the mesh because I forgot I still had to do my horns and my masquerade mask, uh, my Mardi Gras mask on this side. So I'm, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a pair of scissors just like you do um, since these were, you know, gift wrap bows. I'm just going to take the, the blade of my scissors and run it like your curling ribbon just to kind of give these a little bit better look. Okay, I've got the little ribbons curled, and they look a little bit better, and they're going to be covered up with beads and things, and so they're not going to be that super noticeable. All right, so now what I'm going to do is um, these Mardi Gras beads are just in loops, and so I think I'm going to cut those apart, and I'm going to scatter them uh, every which way, no rhyme or reason, but I've got three different colors, and I'm going to scatter them like from about here, zigzag them all the way around uh, to about right here. And, uh, and we're going to see, and I'm just going to put little, uh, just a spot of hot glue in various places so the beads will hang uh, kind of in disarray. Okay, I cut the necklaces apart, and I just kind of spot glued them zigzag all the way around, about three-fourths of it. And so now I'm going to try to place my horns and my mask somewhere in this area. Okay, here is my finished Mardi Gras wreath. The only thing extra I added was this was this area right here on my horns was a little blank, so I just cut out a little Florida Lee and kind of inked it up and put a little glitter on there just to kind of tie it in antique 
look and so I put some little uh, wire curly cues going around they don't really show up too well on the camera but anyway I think this is just kind of a wild and crazy little door display and if you've ever if you know anything about New Orleans it's definitely wild and crazy down there uh, the week of Mardi Gras and so uh, I believe this year it is the week of Valentine's and so I hope that I'll have the opportunity to get this to my sister-in-law so she can display it for a few days and so I just think it turned out really cute and I hope you enjoyed watching it because it certainly was fun making it. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.